CBS 4 Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer joins us now with Fred's forecast track and what we should be getting ready for this weekend, Craig. Yeah, I think we're going to be getting ready for some power outages, some very strong winds, not a hurricane, not a shutter event. I'll repeat that, not a shutter event. I think that's the, the number one question I get asked anytime a storm threatens us, and that's a reasonable question, but this is not going to be that case. Although the power outage is a good possibility, and you may want to secure anything that can blow around. I'm going to bring some of my hanging plants in and just just, you know, things that can blow around. I don't want them blowing around. Here's what's going on with Fred tonight. Still a tropical depression, but on the verge of becoming a tropical storm. Now it's had some wind shear blowing on it, which has helped keep it from starting to come back together too quickly. Also, it was really disrupted last night by going across Hispaniola. Wind shear is a tricky forecast thing because some storms for some reason do better against wind shear than others. Uh, the case here is that Fred has gotten a bit stronger this evening. So as it moves to the northwest there, and there's the future track, it's forecast to become a tropical storm during the morning tomorrow and then continue moving on to the west, northwest and northwest. What we don't want to see happen is Fred slow down. We want Fred to keep moving because it's over really warm water here and we'll have the opportunity to continue to strengthen. After that, it's in the eastern Gulf of Mexico going up uh, to the northwest there. But it looks like the closest approach and the worst of the weather is going to be during the day on Saturday. Here are the tropical storm watches. These will likely be upgraded to tropical storm warnings tomorrow just because of the timeline. And don't be surprised if a watch isn't extended up into parts of South Florida, the mainland here. I call this our be ready by graphic and this really kind of concerns the keys in this case but this is 6 a.m saturday morning here's the onset of tropical storm winds reaching the keys saturday morning now the weather's going to be bad before this area reaches the keys but this is kind of the be ready by there's 9 a.m saturday and i'm just going to click on through here and you can see the keys now in the tropical storm conditions and the conditions extending up probably in the coastal sections of Miami-Dade County. That's Saturday at noon, there's Saturday at 3 p.m., Saturday at 6 p.m., and then there's Saturday at 10 p.m. And now the weather is gradually improving, but we could be caught in a moisture tail on the backside of Fred there as Fred parallels the coast going up to the north. We're definitely in some kind of moisture tonight. It is storming, storming to beat the band out there tonight. Broward had some storms earlier, but quiet for the moment. The biggest activity has in my, been Miami-Dade, where we have a flash flood advisory, uh, warning rather, for flooding, where the water is coming up over the curbs on Miami Beach, and street flood advisories outside of that. Heavy storms now in South Dade. It is really stormy, and storming as well in the Keys. Here's our forecast then for tonight. Going to be a stormy night. Heavy storms from time to time. A low in the upper 70s tomorrow. Sun coming down time to time, but then gusty storms also rolling through. High temperature around 90. Winds picking up out of the east to northeast. 15 to 20 seas running 3 to 5 feet. They'll get even stronger on Saturday. Taking us through the weekend. Impacts from Fred, the worst of it, on Saturday, but we could be in that moisture tail Sunday, even into Monday. CBS 4 News tonight's coming right back.